To balance this equation, it's a little bit more involved than other equations you might have come across. So let's just take it step by step. We have the calcium here. We'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. So we have one calcium here on the reactant side. And then for the oxygen, we have this two applies to everything here. So we have two times the one, we have two oxygens, plus we have the four oxygens here. So we have six total oxygens, two times the one, we have two hydrogens, plus we have these three here. That gives us five. And then we have the one phosphorus atom. Over on the product side, we have the three calcium, the two times the four oxygens, that's eight oxygens, plus we have one oxygen here. So we have nine oxygens, hydrogens, we have two, and then the phosphorus, two times the one phosphorus, we have two of those. So a lot of things are messed up here. I think I'd like to start and fix the phosphorus atoms first. That looks fairly easy. So I could put a two in front of the phosphoric acid, the H3PO4, and then I'd have to update everything, the phosphorus and the oxygens and the hydrogens. So let's do that. So for the oxygens, we have the two times the one, the two of those, plus we have four times the two. This coefficient of two applies to everything. So four times two is eight. That gives us 10 oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, two times the one, we have two of those, plus three times the two, six. That gives us eight hydrogens. So, and finally the phosphorus, right? We have one of those times the two. That gives us two. So we fixed the phosphorus atoms. I like to leave the oxygens and hydrogens to last here because I could fix the calcium pretty easy by putting a three in front of the calcium hydroxide. And that means again, we're gonna have to update all of the oxygens and hydrogens. For the oxygen, we have the two times the one, that's two times the three, six, plus we have the four here, times the two, that's eight. So we have 14 oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, two times the one, that's two times the three, six, plus three times two is six. So we have 12 hydrogen atoms. And then finally the calciums, we have the one times the three, and that gives us three. So the calciums are fine, and the phosphorus atoms, they're all balanced. So it looks kind of hopeless in a way, but Oftentimes, when we get to this point, if we can fix one of these here, it'll all fall into place. I'm thinking easiest to do probably is to fix the hydrogens here. I could multiply the H2O by six, and then I'd have to update the oxygens and the hydrogens again. So let's update our oxygens. We have two times four, that's eight, plus the one times the six, that's six, and that equals 14, which is really nice because the oxygens are balanced out. And the hydrogens, we know we have the two times the six, that gives us 12 hydrogen atoms. And we're done, we've balanced this equation. Oftentimes, if you start by balancing the simpler atoms, other things tend to fall into place as you move along. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaOH2 plus H3PO4 yields Ca3PO4 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.